Richard Southern joins us again. And Richard, there's a new experience being offered in the city, and it seems to be keeping Torontonians cool this winter. So get this, Canada Goose uh, opened a new store in Sherway Mall, Erica. Now here's what it has. It has snow falling inside and an icy crevasse. What it doesn't have is jackets to buy. It's a jacket store with no jackets. It's meant to be an experience to convince you to buy one of their pricey parkas. How convincing was it? I had to go check it out for myself today. Take a look. So there's four rooms in this store. This is the first one. It's called the crevasse. It's meant to look like a mountain pass. The walls are like a mountain. There's all LED screens that make it look like, oh, the ice is breaking under your feet. I know, I get it. I need to lose a few pounds. So this is the next room you come into. There's a 360 projection. It's meant to make you feel kind of like you're in a glacier. And then in the middle, it's the Canada Goose products themselves, the jackets and the vests and so forth. And then over here, they have interactive jackets, a little bit of light on each part of it. So say if you want to know more about the pocket, you hit the light. And then on the screen, you get all the facts. So you want to feel what the Canada Goose jacket is like in the cold. You could, I guess, step out into the parking lot, but instead, they bring you into the most impressive room, the cold room. It's minus 12 in here. They got actual snow on the ground so you can feel how your jacket is working. This particular one retails for 1200 bucks. So then it's down to brass tacks. The final room is the retail room. They have some jackets on display here, but if you want to buy one, you have to go over to the digital kiosk. You scroll through, see what jackets, what colors they have, and if you want to buy one, you click on it, and they'll deliver it to your house almost immediately. So I think that's like the most peak 2019 thing ever. What do you think, Erica? What's your take? I think so, too. I mean, I don't know. I, I think I have enough cold as it is. I don't need to go inside and experience that. I, I know what cold feels like. I know. It's, uh, they want to sort of I mean, convince you to maybe buy the jacket perhaps elsewhere, too, because they sell it in a lot of places. But, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's going to that's gonna fly. A little gimmicky, well, perhaps. But I mean, I lived in Winnipeg for three years, so I get you it. Know. It's cold, right? You know what snow's all about. Yeah. <laughs> all right. It's, time. it's that time of year again. It seems almost everyone is feeling under the weather. But you might want to think twice about calling in sick to one fast food joint. Um, yeah. You know, we've all maybe done it. Had it few too many drinks the night before you call in sick the next day because you're too hungover. Don't try that at Chipotle. The burrito chain, Erica, if you call in sick there, a nurse will call you back to see if you're hungover or actually sick. What? Yeah, they'll pepper you with questions. Now, they're doing this, Chipotle, not because they necessarily want to bust you for calling in because you're hungover, but because they want to prevent workers from showing up to the job if they are sick. They'll actually pay. They'll give you paid time off there. The reason, back in 2017, they had a nervosis outbreak in the States. It was very costly for the company, and an investigation turned out it was because a worker came to work sick. So that's why they want to determine if they're going to pay for your day off, they want to make sure you're really sick and not that you just had too many drinks. Mm, I don't before. know about that. All right, and if you're still looking for the perfect outfit, for your ugly Christmas sweater party, I am. We might have the solution for you. It's a mix solution. So uh, believe it or not, McDonald's finding tremendous success. There's your sweater, Erica. If Got you it. if you're comfortable promoting a big international brand like that, but um, a lot of McDonald's fans have no qualms about it. These uh, merchandise from the fast food chain selling out. Uh, you know, there's a T-shirt that mimics the uh, red Happy Meal box. There's an umbrella that looks like a sesame seed bun. Shoes that look like the French fry box, and you know, ornaments that have the smiley face. You name it. Uh, not cheap. The sweaters go for as much as 65 bucks. U.S., but people apparently all too happy to show their love for the world's largest burger chain. Right. Well, you could do it yourself, too. Just make an ugly Christmas sweater on your own. Just carry the, the bag around uh, with you, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. Thanks for joining us, Richard. See you tomorrow. Bye.